Alright, so hey guys, today is November 26th, the day after Black Friday. Um, and the day before that was Thanksgiving. I ended up yesterday picking up this Xbox One S. It's the Battlefield 1 Early Enlister Deluxe Edition. And it's like an olive green color. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. I'm um, just going to be a simple one. And then I also ended up getting some more stuff. We got the Kinect, a free controller, and Xbox Live for $45 for a year, and then a bunch of games. This Just Dance 16 we're going to end up returning because we found out there's 17 and then we got Call of Duty and Forza 6. So, let's move on to the unboxing. I'm already having issues unboxing. This just slips right off, and we have this Xbox One. I got the one terabyte version with the 4K Ultra HD HDR, and this is just how the box looks. It also has the Battlefield One, and let's open it up. This is just a startup guide how to hook it up and stuff. So just like a user manual, we'll put that to the side. Then in here you have the cable. And what they did different about the Xbox One S is it's supposed to be 40% smaller than the original Xbox and they also got rid of the power brick. So now all that connects, actually this is the HDMI cable, never mind. So anyways, HDMI cable, and we'll continue with that 40% lighter, or smaller thing later. And here's the first look at the controller. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's like an olive green color. I don't know if you can see that through the camera. Uh, the controller feels and looks exactly the same as the Xbox One original. So I don't see any difference there really, um, it's hands down my favorite controller so I'm not going to complain how it looks. And you also get two batteries included here, double A. We'll put that to the side. And then here's what I was talking about earlier, this is the power uh, cord, there's no brick, this just connects into the Xbox and this is, goes into your wall outlet. And the actual power brick is built into the Xbox. So now let's get to the best part. Empty box. And I guess this is the game. And they also included what looks like a stand so that you can uh, stand up the Xbox vertically instead of laying it on its side. And then here's the paperwork or whatever for Battlefield 1 that came with it. Let's get these out of the way. First thing without even opening this package, what I noticed is it's a lot lighter. Um, I mean, I mean it's pretty still pretty heavy, but it's really small. It feels really small in the hands, and 
Okay, so overall first impressions on this new Xbox One S is I don't like the design at all. I like the color, don't get me wrong, the color is cool. But the design, I don't know. I feel like they could have made something a little bit cooler. But what I do like is that they have this button and so on the old Xbox One um, this button was the touch one and every single time you bumped up, brushed up against it with whatever it would either turn on or off the Xbox so that was annoying. I like that they listened and they incorporated this button back in that you actually have to physically press and it clicks. But as you can see for the ventilation they have a bunch of dots here and I honestly liked the or the sideways slots that they had on the Xbox One and kind of at an angle look like carbon fiber so that was pretty cool. Now um, let's see what else is different. On the back they have a bunch of ports and as you can see there's no port for the connect which I have right over here and so that's going to be a problem there's an adapter that you have to buy for $39 to be able to incorporate that so we're going to have to order one of those but otherwise yeah that's the first look now let's see if we can compare the color so let's open up this black controller that we got So as you can see here, here's the color difference, because in the camera it probably, or on the video, it probably looks like both, or the olive green is the same as black, but here's side by side how different they look, and I'll take a picture and I'll also put a picture to get a better idea in case the video doesn't pick it up. Otherwise, I mean, the designs are the same, except for these buttons are colored, these are not. Um, otherwise, same controller, just different color. And it'll give you a, an idea of how this actually looks in real life. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, next, I'm gonna be doing a review of the interface and games, how they work with the Xbox One S, what's different about it from the Xbox One. I actually don't have an Xbox One. I had one for about a month and then I returned it because I never used it. And the X I had an Xbox before it, it was Xbox 360 and what I like about this Xbox One S is that you can use the Xbox 360 games on this, which is a huge plus because I have GTA 5 and all those fun games and older games that I really enjoyed that we'll be able to use with this one. So that's all I have for you today. Um, like I said, look out for another video about reviewing video games and maybe I'll be doing commentaries and videos on stuff. Excuse my dog, he's eating right now. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Have a good one.